Hey guys, so today I thought that I would share with you the products that I use on my hair. I have been getting a lot more into hair styling and hair care lately. I've been trying to grow my hair out. It has taken me about six or seven years to grow my hair this long. I have not had a significant cut since before we got our first child back in 2012. Actually, before we started the adoption process at all. So it's been at least seven years since I've had a significant cut. And this is as long as it's grown. So I wanted to share with you the tools that I use, the styling products, the heat protectants, and the, my favorite ways to color my hair currently. So if you guys are curious to see what I use on my hair, then just keep watching. Okay, first off, I want to talk about the products that I've been using to color my hair. As you guys know, I'm a natural dark blonde, um, but in the last months or two, I've gone through rose gold, kind of coppery orange hair, and then to brown, and it is slowly fading. What I've been using is mostly the Cara Color, Color Plus Conditioner line. This is the rose gold one. I haven't used this one yet, but I've been using the mocha, the copper, and the red, and then... Going into the summer, I'm going to go back to my blonde and try to see if I can go more like platinum blonde. And I'm going to be using the platinum and silver colors of their Cara Color conditioners. So this is how I've been coloring my hair lately. In addition to the Kristen S. Rose Gold Temporary Tint, um, I use this one to make my browns a little bit warmer, to make my blondes a little bit more strawberry. It's a really easy product to use, and I got about three to four uses out of this can, and it's completely empty right now. Really loving this one. Okay, let's talk about heat protectant because whenever you're using heat on your hair, you should always protect it. So put a layer on your hair so that when you're kind of burning your hair into a shape or pattern, it's burning off the product, not your hair. So the first one that I use is the Maui Moisture Color Protection and Sea Mineral Heat Shield Mist. This one smells amazing and I've used at least half the bottle already. This is really nice. The other one that I use is the Joyco Thermal Protectant Spray, which looks more like a hairspray bottle. This one, I don't feel like it's as effective as protecting my hair, but I still use it. I like both of these together, so these are the two heat protectant sprays I use. Leave-in conditioners, I almost always use a leave-in conditioner when I'm blow drying my hair. I go back and forth between the It's a 10 Silk Express Miracle Leave Silk Leave-In, which looks like this. I have a little sample size. And then the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. So I will always use like a leave-in conditioner when I'm blow drying my hair just so it doesn't get dry and brittle. I've gotten into hair oils in the last year or two because before I'd use them and felt like it would make my hair greasy, but now I know the trick is to do it before you style and blow dry, so do it on damp hair. I love the L'Oreal El Vive, El Vive Extraordinary Oil, Camellia and Sunflower Oil. This one, really nice drugstore. It's, it's, I haven't used a whole lot. I've used maybe a quarter of the bottle, and I've also used this on my daughter's hair, and her hair just soaks up oil like crazy. Um, the, another good one, the Hair Food Blackberry and Pear Fragrance Strength Nourishing Oil. This one's a bit thicker than the others I'll mention, but I love the fragrance. I feel like it does a really good job at nourishing my hair. And this works really well in African-American hair as well. This made my daughter's hair really, really soft and easy to kind of manipulate. And the third one is the Joyco K-Pack Protect and Shine Serum. So not so much an oil, more of a serum. I use this one very sparingly, which is why not a lot is gone. Um, and I use it mostly on the ends of my hair where it is the driest. For lightening products, now that I'm going into the summer, as mentioned, I am going to be going back to my natural color. I'm letting all the brown wash out, so I should be back to like light blonde here, medium blonde here. I use the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightening Spray. I think it just does a really nice job of kind of brightening my hair color, making it look natural, and kind of bringing out the lighter tones in my hair. I also use the Joyco Blonde Life Brightening Veil. Um, this is the UV and Thermal Defense Multitasker, so it protects my hair helps the blonde kind of shine through and stay healthy. So I like both of those. If I'm like trying to blow dry my hair, curl it, style it, I will use these two blowout creams. This one is the Joyco Heat Set Pro Blowout Perfecting Cream. Um, again, too much of these can make your hair like really heavy and weighed down, but using the right amount, it really helps with the styling of the hair. The other one is the Oribe Imperial Blowout Transformative Styling Cream, very pricey but it is also very good. Hairspray, I have never really been a huge fan of, so I only have one hairspray that I have been using lately, and it's the Herbal Essence 
Set Me Up Beautiful Bold Hold Hairspray. It says 24 hour hold and humidity protection. Um, I don't think that this 24 hour claim is correct, uh, but I've never tested it. I mean, like I said, this was done yesterday morning and the curl is still here, so maybe 24 hours is accurate, but I just like the fragrance of it. I think it's like a nice medium hold. It says it's a max hold hairspray. Um, I don't know. I haven't really gotten into hairspray, so I don't really know to compare, but that's what I've been using lately. Now let's talk about tools. For getting a curl like this, I use my PYT curling wand. Um, this is, I believe, the medium size. There was a smaller and a larger, and I picked the mid-size one. I've had this one for about six years. Still going strong. It only has one heat setting. It's on and off, but I haven't had any issues with this. I haven't had any issues with burning myself either. You essentially wrap your hair around it like this, hold it in place for like five seconds, let go, and you've got like a beautiful kind of spiral curl, and then as time goes on, it kind of falls down. So this is second day curl, and it's more like a beachy wave than spiral, which I think is really pretty. So I love this. Would highly, highly, highly recommend this brand. My straightener, I believe, is Sapphire. It says Sutra on it, but I got it from a kiosk in the mall that said Sapphire. So Sapphire or Sutra, I've had it for years. I use it three times a week, I would say. Um, still going strong, a little on the dirty side, because honestly, I don't know how to clean these without messing up the parts. <laughs> but I think this is a really nice one. I think next time I will go for one that has slightly wider plates so I can straighten more at a time. It has been a good straightener. And my hair dryer, which I've had for way too long. So if you guys have a suggestion for a good hair dryer, and don't say Dyson, I'm not spending that kind of money. Um, let me know, this one's the Remington Curl Envy. I don't know, it had an attachment for like curly hair because my hair is naturally curly. It's just a hair dryer with three settings. I really need to get a new one. So please let me know down below if there is a good powered, affordable hair dryer that you would recommend. Let me know down below. So that completes my hair video. I hope you guys found it helpful seeing what I use in my hair, what tools, what products. Maybe some of these will work for you. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.